creating data modules in Cognos Analytics. You can use data modeling in IBM Cognos Analytics to access and shape data from servers or uploaded files. You can create a data module by fusing together many sources of data that include relational databases, Hadoop-based technologies, Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, and text files. Today we're going to explore some of the exciting new capabilities around web modeling and data modules. We will upload a local file, pull in some tables from a data server, and join them up all through the web browser using a data module. My name is Todd Schumann, and I've been working with Cognos for over 15 years. I currently head up the Centaurus Cognos installation, upgrade, and optimization practice. Let's get started. This is the IBM Cognos Analytics homepage. And if you haven't had a chance to look at the new version, Centaurus.com has some great reference videos and webinars that we touch on the new features and functionality. You can also go to AnalyticsZone.com and check out the cloud instance that they have there for free as well. So today I'm going to be working with the Go Sales Query Package that comes with every Cognos installation via the samples, in case you want to follow along. The first thing we need to do is bring in a local file. And since I don't actually work for the fictional Go Sales company, which is a shame because it seems like it's a great company, I don't have any relevant local files to use. So for the sake of this demo, I'm creating a basic report from the Go Sales package that has some product information along with quantities and inventories that I'm going to use. I'm going to export this and use this as my local source. So all I did is I just brought in some basic inventory from the Go Sales query here. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as Excel data. And it's going to download it to my downloads folder. And there it is. So now let's take a look at the upload process. And uploading is a key focal point of the new Cognos Analytics. And because of this, the button is now front and center right on the main page of the new portal. All I need to do is click this upload button, which will give me a file browser. I can browse to the location I want, which is that sample report export XLS file I just created, and I click open. Cognos is going to analyze the file, and then it's going to show you the columns that it found. And you can select or deselect the columns that you want to include. So we can see here's my product number, the product, the closing inventory. And it also brought in this summary column, which I don't really want, so I'm going to uncheck that one. So now I just have my three columns. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to tell me that it saved it into My Content. And if you haven't noticed, that some of the terminology has changed. My Content is what we use to call My Folders. Easy, right? So now we have a file loaded into Cognos that we can report off of, and we can even use the new dashboard tool on this. And here's the file. It's in my content. You can see it here. We have some options. You can update it in case you want to bring in some new data, but the tables and the formats the same. You can create dashboards from it. We can edit the properties, copy, move, delete. We want to take this to the next level. And there's a lot of data in the data warehouse that will be really useful for my presentation to management later today. So let's go ahead and add in a data server and join up our newly uploaded file to some data in the warehouse. One thing to note before we get started is you'll have to have a JDBC connection set up to use the data server's functionality. And for the sake of brevity and staying on topic, I won't get into the details on how to set this up as there have been some changes to the file locations in Cognos Analytics. I'll be covering this in a webinar on installing Cognos Analytics tips and tricks the first week in June, so keep an eye out on the Centaurus webpage and or your inbox if you're on our mailing list for the date and registration links. All disclaimers aside, I'm going to go into the management area of Cognos now by clicking on the bottom left icon appropriately named Manage. We've got some new features here that we didn't have before, but I'm going to focus just on data servers. I want to add a new one, so I'm going to click on this plus icon, and I'm presented with a huge list of available options. I'm working with SQL Server, so I'm going to select that, 
and I'll be prompted to enter some connection information. You can give your data server a name. I'm going to call mine Go Sales Data Server. And then fill in the rest of the blanks. You might need some assistance from your DBAs if you don't know what to put in here. The screen and most of these options are available under Manage should only really be available to Cognos administrators and or DBAs. Let me put in the rest of my information here. We have different authentication options here. Depending on how you have it set up, I'm going to use a username and password. Once I have everything filled out, I can click the test button here. It'll check it and success. Great. So we now have under data servers, the, the connection we just created called Go Sales Data Server. Okay, it's time to create a data module. Let's go ahead and click on the new icon here. And this is how you would also create a new report, a new dashboard. We actually want to create a data module. Let's click on that. And that'll take us to the data module creation page. Now when working with data models, we have three options. The uploaded files, which we have already created. Data servers, which we also already created. And existing modules, which we will create now. You can click on the three options and see the choices you have available. So if you have multiple uploaded files or multiple data servers to choose from, you can check the boxes to include them. I'm going to click the sample report export that we created earlier and then go to my data server and pick the Go Sales data server that we also created. Now because I have two schemas in this data server, I can pick one or both and I don't really care so much about the DBO schema, so I want the Go Sales Data Warehouse. I'll check that. You can see in the far left area here, we have a list now we're creating on the fly of selected sources. You can keep adding multiple files, servers, existing data modules, and they'll all start loading into the screen as available sources for your new data module. I'm happy with what I have, so I'm gonna click Start. Cognos is now going to analyze the sources for a bit and then present us with an actual metadata for these sources. And here's where we get into the cool stuff. We can expand these sources and drag and drop. Here's a list of tables from the Go Sales Data Warehouse. For example, employee position dimension. I can drag in all these different areas and you can see over here it's loading them into a sort of visual ER diagram type screen that you've had available in, in Framework Manager. Um, so you can continue to add and, and drag columns over tables and fields over here or you can use the new feature which is pretty slick called Intent. Intent is great because if you have users who aren't familiar with the tables or the warehouse in general you can search for keywords or column names and it will bring back all the matches for you. So for example, if you were interested in sales revenue and knew absolutely nothing about the data warehouse and the sources available, I can bring back all these proposals. These all have something that has to do with sales revenue and click this button to add to this proposal. And it'll actually bring in all the tables and it's able to identify similarly named keys and do all the joins for us. So without knowing anything about modeling or anything about the tables and database itself, I can just type in some key metrics that I'm interested in and it'll actually build me a model, which is pretty slick. This is um, similar functionality to if you've used Framework Manager, the auto join functionality. Um, and I personally, you know, as a more advanced user, don't like to let Cognos do this for me, but you can see just how powerful this is for um, a user who doesn't know anything about it. So 
I'm going to go ahead and just remove all these for the sake of our demo because I want to focus on our external file and the table that I will choose. So I'm going to remove these and I'm going to use intent and I want to look for, since I have in my file products and product numbers, I want the product name. Let's see what I get. So here's my sample report that includes it and also a, a view or a table called view product name. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the proposal. And now we have those two objects. Next thing I want to do is create a relationship. So you can click on these ellipse icons here and go into the properties. And you can apply filters. Um, you can put some comments here. I wanted to find a relationship. We don't have one yet, so I'm going to create new. And here's how we do this. It's going to actually give me a um, sort of a, whoops, a test or a, a sample of the the data set of each one. So here is the table view product name and some sample data and I can move around and, and look at the values here. And I'm going to go ahead and select here my Excel file and here's what we have in that. So I have product number, the product name, and the metric. So we want to join on product number and product number. So we now have a join created. If I need additional joins or different criteria, I can add a second one here or as many as you need. You can pick options here to have the join types, how they're going to join, set your cardinality, um, do some filters on the joins. Again, I don't really need any of that for now. I'm going to hit OK. Close this out so we can see. And now we have a join product number to product number. I can go ahead and click on this button to try it. This is going to fire up a new window and a new reporting instance against this new data source. So you'll see it's going to load it in here. I have sample report our Excel file and a table or view from our data server. So let's test it out. I'm going to bring in the product and let's take a look and run this as page preview so it'll run in real time. So here's a list of the products from our Excel file. Here are the inventories. Now if I wanted to know you know what the product name was in France. I could bring that in. And this is going to merge the Excel file that we uploaded and the table from the data server. And now we're able to see, you know, translations. I could bring in additional fields um, and tables and bring in the you know metrics that I'm interested in. But this is pretty interesting. So now I can see how these things are described in in French, so if I had a store in France who needed me to convert, you know, show them the, the inventory numbers, um, but they didn't speak or read English and they needed it in France, you could quickly convert this to France um, using the tools in the table. Um, so this looks good. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the data module. And if I want to, I can give this a cleaner name. I'll call it data module sample. And then I can do a save or a save as, and I'll do a save as because I don't want to make this public yet. And I'll save it in my my content data module sample save. And now this is done. And now I can kind of go back to the home page. I can fire up reports or dashboards. Pick any type of layout I want. And here are the sources I have available. We'll go to my content, data module, data module sample. And here's everything I have. So here's my inventory. And let's drag in a French product description. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit the Centaurus website for other Cognos Analytic and other BI-related recordings.